Hello and welcome to Guns and Gear. You know, I recently saw a video from uh, Humans for Targets 2. Great channel and I'm sure most of you folks uh, know about him, but if, if just by chance you don't, you ought to stop by and, and watch some of his videos. At any rate, he had a really short video uh, basically looking at a t-shirt. And the message on the t-shirt was sort of like a public service announcement, a warning, uh, that he was no longer going to be able to afford warning shots due to the high price of ammunition. <laughs> Now, I assume that was a new t-shirt that he bought, and, and uh, it has a really uh, cool uh, saying on there. And, and by the way, that wasn't exact, but that was the gist of the message of that t-shirt. Uh, but it got me to thinking about warning shots and some of the conversations that I've had over the years and thought I would share them with you. You know, I know a lot of people in all different walks of life that have included a uh, firearm in their uh, defense of themselves and their families. And we all know that if we're going to make that choice to add a firearm there, that we're going to have to contemplate, we're going to have to come to the realization that we may actually have to shoot someone uh, in our defense. Now, we all hope that that's a, a very last resort, and we hope that things de-escalate or, or the situation never happens. And uh, it's very popular with some folks to you know, think that you know, that very last chance that I'm going to give someone is to fire off a warning shot. Now I've also said in, in uh, videos and in comments to videos that uh, I've had uh, the opportunity for quite a bit of uh, firearm instruction over the years starting way back in the 1980s and I literally have taken dozens of courses and uh, you know when you start talking about experts right if uh, experts can agree on a few things, but mostly they'll have their own ideas and their own opinions. And if you put a bunch of ex experts in a room, they'd probably argue. <laughs> but one thing that I can say that uh, each and every instructor that I have had the opportunity to learn from, uh, they are all agree that the idea of the warning shot is a bad idea. All right. I thought I'd just speak really quickly on uh, some of the things that you should think about. First of all, if you are in such a deadly encounter that you have to uh, resort uh, to using your firearm, you're going to have to, in this high stress situation, remove your focus from the deadly threat and fire around into a safe backstop or what you hope to be a safe backstop. That doesn't, that doesn't really make much sense when you actually think about it, now does it? Uh, we certainly don't want to be focused on our deadly threat and turn the gun away that we can't focus on and fire around, whether it's towards the ground or maybe up in the air. You know, there's a couple of things that uh, they are basic truths, and one of them is you will be held accountable and responsible for every round that you fire, even in the defense of your own life. And another thing that is a, a basic truth is there's no such thing as a missed shot. That bullet will strike something, intended or unintended. You see, you may think that you're firing around safely into a lawn, a grassy lawn. But you may not know that there might be rocks or pieces of concrete or something under that grass that your bullet could strike and ricochet and damage someone's property, or even worse, uh, strike an innocent bystander, maybe in their home or down the street. If we fire around in the air, we all know that bullets can travel great distances. And the basic truth that that bullet will strike something when it comes back down. Again, could damage property, injure or kill. So the idea of the, of the warning shot really isn't a prudent choice. Now, I hope that I never have to shoot someone in the defense of myself or my family. I hope that I have the time to create space in a deadly encounter so that uh, that individual can hear my vocal commands to stop attacking me, to go away. And hopefully, he will see me drawing my firearm. 
and he will see that firearm leveling on him. And that will be the last chance that I can afford to give a deadly threat before engaging them. All right, folks, I thought I would just kind of share a little bit of what I've learned and what some of my opinions are on this subject of warning shots. Uh, I appreciate you watching my videos as always. And remember to shoot straight on the range and in life. Thanks.